Item number, SCP-18. Object class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures SCP-18 is to be contained in its specialty metal restraint inside of a 1 meter by 1 meter by 1 meter sealed box, lined with heavy synthetic padding. The sealed box is then submerged in the center of the 10 meter by 10 meter by 10 meter polyethylene holding tank. If SCP-18 is to break free from the holding box, the polyethylene-based goo will slow down kinetic activity enough for proper retrieval by containment personnel. Personnel entering SCP-18's holding chamber are to wear specialized plating, found inside of SCP-18 observation, and a breathing apparatus before being lowered into the polyethylene tank. If SCP-18 is loose outside of the polyethylene tank, personnel are advised to secure themselves in a separate room, and close doorways or hatches to isolate SCP-18 until containment teams arrive. Description: SCP-18 has the appearance of a Super Bowl made by the Whammo Company in 1969. It is 6 centimeters in diameter and colored red. Found when the company was hired to clean out a warehouse that had Whammo merchandise in it. SCP-18 was noted to be able to bounce with extreme height. At first thought to be a pleasant child's toy, SCP-18 was able to bounce with over 200% efficiency. That is, if dropped one meter, it would bounce two, then four, then eight, then sixteen. The ball soon became a dangerous projectile, reaching speeds estimated at over 100 kilometers an hour, and damaging property and injuring five in the city of It came to a rest after several days in the nearby lake of and was retrieved by SCP personnel. Due to the speed of the object and the total surprise by its victims, no cover-up story was required or initiated. Document 18-04 Message to O5 dash. I hope everything is well. The reason I write to you is because I believe I have found a more effective method for retrieving new or escaped SCP objects. Yes, I realize we haven't had any progress in reverse engineering whatever allows this thing to defy the laws of thermodynamics. But we have come up with a very effective method for integrating one of those new SCP A5 armor suits with this. Just hear me out. We implant it into the bottom of a boot. Rig up a little bit of a mechanical device, and ta-da! The suit is now capable of jumping well over a building. Also, if the wearer has their foot against something they want dead, well, let's just say it delivers a hell of a kick. All I need is permission to modify one of the pre-existing SCP-A5 suits, and you'll be able to actually capture plus any other escaped SCP objects. Trust me, what have I let you down in the past? Dr. Document 18-06, letter to Dr. Dr. Upon assignment, Agent was issued your modified SCPA-5 armor in retrieving SCP and the results are mixed. Agent was able to place the collar onto SCP, chase it through the Amazon, and restrain it by dismemberment. However, due to a malfunction of your little mechanical device. He was launched almost a mile into the air and suffered two broken legs, seven broken ribs, a missing arm, and a skull fracture upon hitting the water of Lake on the way back down. You will fix that before I authorize your armor for common use. Document 18-11, message to 05. Don't worry, it's fixed, but I have some more ideas. If I can be granted the use of some water from SCP-6, SCP- and possibly SCP- I can deliver you a set of SCP-A5 armor and an agent that can capture any, if not all, rogue or unattained SCPs. All I'm waiting on is your approval. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-17, Shadow Person, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.